It is raining in Rochester right now and parts of our viewing area are under a severe thunderstorm warning, Sarah. That's right. We're tracking a kind of a singular cell that's kind of bringing some strong winds and some hail to the region kind of straddling right along the Minnesota Iowa border. Let's check in here with our future track radar. So widespread. We are looking at some widespread showers and that isolated thunderstorm here in the area, but uh, we do have that active warning kind of right along that Minnesota Iowa border here as we check in with our future track radar. So again, this is a wide view of what we're tracking here this afternoon, kind of honing in there on that singular cell. We do have this active severe thunderstorm warning for Fillmore and Howard County. Now this warning does go until 1245 this afternoon. That was warned for half for 60 mile an hour winds and hail up to about one inch in diameter. Now they did also extend this warning further towards the east, including Fillmore County and into Winnesheet County as well as the storm continues to track towards the east. Now this morning will go until 115 this afternoon. And again, the storm is warned for 60 mile an hour winds and one inch hail. So we're going to continue to track this storm here as the evening continues and also seeing kind of a bit of a notable uh, hail core here with that cell. So again, hail is a concern. Concern. Wind is a big concern, heavy rainfall and frequent lightning with this storm. But as we continue here throughout this afternoon, we are going to continue to track the potential for additional showers and thunderstorms, even strong to severe thunderstorms in our area here across the region. So we do have a slight risk for our southernmost counties exactly where that active warning is right now. From now until six o'clock tonight, we do have that potential. Main threats are going to be damaging winds, some potentially large hail, heavy rainfall and frequent lightning. So this is a very active weather day today. So of course, stay very weather aware here as you go about your day. But right now we are just tracking just some rain right now in Rochester as we take a live look from our Louis Donato camera. And as we continue here tracking those showers and thunderstorms throughout the day today, this weekend we will get to see some sunshine, much warmer temperatures and muggy conditions as well, especially for Sunday. But more storms are on the way for next week. Temperatures are kind of ranging from about the low to mid 70s and very muggy conditions out there. Some good energy for those storms. We're seeing dew points primarily into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And as we kind of time this out here with our future track tonight, we'll continue to see those showers and thunderstorms kind of pull through the area through the early afternoon. We should be able to get some breaks in that precipitation as we head towards the dinner time hour and even clearing out then as we head into the evening time. We will look to see temperatures topping off into the lower 80s today. Then as we head throughout the night, staying drier and quieter and extending that back in throughout your Saturday, we'll see temperatures kind of warming back again into the lower 80s. Should be pretty nice here for this weekend today, though, uh, staying on that active side. So for tonight, we will continue to see temperatures warming into the lower 80s. Pretty warm, muggy with those storms that we're going to be tracking very closely for that potential of strong to severe storms. Tonight, we will see things quiet down with temperatures back into the lower 60s. And as we continue into our extended forecast, pretty nice ahead for the weekend, really heating up and becoming a lot more humid for next week as well. And additional storm chances are on the way. But for today, make sure to stay very weather aware as we do have the potential for a very active weather day. We are going to continue to track those severe thunderstorm warnings in the area for this afternoon, and we'll continue to bring you the latest updates as they become available.